Oh, Jesus. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, so many beers, so little time. My liver, I have had to rest for a while. I've had to do a couple of things here and there, but oh my God, I just, I don't know. I've had this pack in my possession for the past couple of months now, and I've been meaning to get to it, but all these beers have been showing up in my local area. I've been putting it off, but no longer, because I really wanted to do this one. This one was gifted to me by Central City Red Racer. And I want to say thank you very much for this. This is the Across the Nations collaboration. And I've been wanting to try this because each beer has a brewery from the province that they're from. Fuggles and Warlocks in here, Blind Man, uh, Up Street, never heard of them. Two Crows, they're in around here. Torque Brewing out of, uh, out of Winnipeg. Northwest Brewing Company, there's only one brewery out there. And Yellow Belly Brewery, Trailing, like there's just kitch, uh, k Kitchen Sippy, like seriously, there's so much in here that I've wanted to get to it. And now that I have the chance to, let's dive into it. And this one is Upstreet Craft Brewing. I've never, never heard of this. They're out of, um, God, I really wish I remember my flags. Uh, P.E.I. Okay. <laughs> Prince Edward Island. Salty like the sea and as sweet as the island residents, this salted caramel lager captures P.E.I. in a can. Ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, brown sugar, lactose, coca yeast, sea salt, and vanilla. This is the first one I pulled out of here. And this was... Packaged sometime. I don't know. I can't read the date. I can never re read these seriously, these weird dates. But have a look at that. And uh, there you go. I really wish I remembered what the P flag, flag was, but there it is right there. I say we dive into it. Okay, and again, I'm really sorry to Central City. It took me a bit. It's been a long, long, long road of different beers. I've had it down here. It's been sitting down here, and I've wanted to open it. I just, there's a lot of things that have been going on. Like, for example, I wanted to do it as a collaboration with a bunch of my friends. I started a new job. I had a lot of things happen. And Alberta beers have been dominating around here. So let's see what we got here. Clear. Light head on there. And light carbonation. The smell. I get that malt, but I also get a sweetness of a, 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 a like a, almost like a burnt sugar. Doesn't smell that bad. I'm ready to get into this. And I think this comes in at 5%. A lot of these are around the mid range. I don't think there's any really high ones in here. That being said, cheers. Mmm. Wow. The initial taste does have that sweetness in there does have that saltiness in there, but does have that caramel sweetness that you find. Then the lager kicks in and that sweetness just dissipates. It's not bad, it's easy drinking, but again, I've had this in my, in my hands for a couple of months, so it may have fallen off a bit, which is fine. It still has some flavor in there. It's really good, really delightful, easy to drink. And it's a nice collaboration. That isn't a bad start. I'm actually enjoying that. Huh. Have you had this one, folks? What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Is it something that you would enjoy? 
I'll be trying to cover these and all my other beers that I have over a period of time. I still have my other one from Parallel 49 that I'm still trying to cover. There's a lot. Like I said, I have got beers freaking everywhere right now. It's kind of sad. Really should stop buying them. You guys should really stop making beers for at least three months so I can catch up. All these damn good beers. I know that's not going to happen, so. Spare a liver for me. Anyways, until next time, folks, I am PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. And be careful out there. There could be some bad beers. This, this isn't one of them. This is a nice, easy drinking beer. Cheers.